So we're going to jump into adding SVG to a web page and show you how we can do that using one, one major method. There are, oh man, there's a million ways to do this and reasons why you would use one over the other, but we're going to choose one and I'll show you why we do that. If you go into the insert SVG folder, you'll see the final. You can open up the final if you want to. And I can, I'm going to drag that to my browser and open it up. And you'll see that there is the logo right there. And you can scale it if you want, grab the corner and see that it is going to adjust to match the size. It's perfectly beautiful, works in Internet Explorer 8, different versions, uh, and it has what's called a fallback. So we actually, if I go back to the folder, let me show you this. On the page, what we're using as a fallback mechanism, this is one of a bunch of different ways you can do this, is something called Modernizer. Some people don't use like to use JavaScript as a fallback like Modernizer, but it does a quick test to see if SVG is supported. And if it's not supported, what we can do is instead go out and say, hey, instead of using a logo.svg, I want you to go find a logo.ping and use that instead. And the ping is scaled to be roughly the right size we need in, in the instances being used. It's not gonna look awesome like the SVG, and it might, if it scales, it might look a little off, but you know, that's the nature of the beast. Why don't you open up index.start.html. Once again, I'm using this thing called Sublime Text, which is an editor. You can use Dreamweaver, you can use whatever text editor you can get to, and yours will probably look different than mine. And if you scroll down, you're gonna see add SVG content right here. Now, in order to add SVG content, let me put a return in there. In order to add SVG content, there's a couple ways we can do this. We can add it straight up as an image file and we can do something like this. We could say, okay, image, you know, source equals, and then put the name of the image. We can do that. You can also come in here and copy paste the SVG code. Uh, if you remember in the last video, I showed you that. But if you come to, let's say, logo.svg, and I'm going to go to the optimized one. And if I open that, hopefully it opens in some kind of text editor, but I open it up by double clicking. It's going to open an edge code. Hopefully it doesn't show an error. You can do it. There we go. What I can do is I can take that content, copy that, and paste that into my page. So you can also do it this way. So you can have the raw code in the page, or you can have, and or you can have the uh, the image itself. So we can say, Greg, just throw the image in there. There are other ways to do this as well. We can use these using CSS. You can use it as background image. You can use data tags. We can do all kinds of crazy stuff if we want to do that. Now, just real quick, why would we, why would I want to put the, like a link to the image? And let me finish this actually, and I'm going to have you type this in too. We're going to grab logo optimize.svg. Okay. So I'm, the, I'm, I'm being lazy here. What I want you to do is in your page, you didn't have to paste that in there, by the way. I want you to put this in your page, image source equals. So we're just going to put an image tag and we're just going to put logo optimized.svg. So you can see right there, just put that into your pitch. Now, this is going to put it out. It's going to grab, it's like an image. It's like a GIF, ping, whatever. It's going to grab it, put it on the page. Now, if a browser doesn't support SVG, it's going to freak out. It's going to be like, I don't know what that is. We're going to just ignore it. Okay, we're going to nuke it. The reason why we might use one of these methods here, and like I said, there's more, is this is just straight up image tag. There's not much we can do with the SVG unless you use something like JavaScript or style it with CSS a little bit but we can't get into the actual SVG. If you wanted to use, let's say, uh, CSS or JavaScript, and you wanted to be able to change like what the color of one of those triangles when somebody clicked the button, you can see right here, here's all the styling. We could go in and affect that using different things like CSS and JavaScript. So having the raw code in the page, and we can do this several ways, you know, there's base 64, et cetera, but I'm not gonna go there. You're gonna, you can use CSS and JavaScript to, to edit that. Okay, it's it, it's really pretty pretty amazing. So a lot of people are are doing things like that. We're gonna keep it simple. Okay, just because we want to use SVG as let's say a logo, you're gonna start here. We're gonna say, all right, image source equals optimize SVG. That is awesome. You can save your page. Just save it straight up. I'm gonna go in and save it as working because I need to delete it because you're not gonna see that in the final file. So I'll just say. Save as index working. You just save your page. Don't worry about it. What I want you to do is I want you to take that. If you just saved it, grabbed index start and open it in your browser. 
Okay, preview it somehow. I'm going to go grab this one I saved and just preview it and take a look. You're going to see, cool, hey, awesome. Now, if you're in Internet Explorer 8 or on one of those older mobile Android uh, operating systems, OSs, then you're not really going to see it, okay? So we need to have some kind of fallback. We need to have something, if you care about those older browsers, some way to make it work in all browsers. Now, there are a billion ways to do this. The big method, the one method that I use, which I've used a bunch, is using what's called Modernizer. Go back to the folder for Insert SVG and double click the site's text file if you don't have it open still. In here, you're going to see that we actually have, there are a bunch of solutions you can use. And right here, something called SVGZ is a fallback mechanism. This is a, a JavaScript that essentially allows you to fall back to something else. In other words, if SVG isn't supported, this, this script will kind of, it'll be able to tell, and it'll use something else in place of the SVG, like a ping or another image. Our solution, the one that we're going to use currently, is at this site right here. You're going to see our solution. So if you want to, you can go there. As a matter of fact, you need to go there. Why don't you copy that, go to your browser, and we're just going to paste it in and go to the page. And th th I've actually got this on my site currently, but you're going to see here fallback to ping. So we can make it so if we have an image, an SVG image on the page, we can go in and use what's called modernizer to detect if SVG is supported. And then we can go in and just say, all right, use a bunch of this garbly gook code here. And if it has SVG in the, in the name, like the image, I want you to replace it with ping. So instead of saying image source equals, let me go back over, sorry. This code is essentially going to say, okay, instead of saying image source equals logo optimized, I want you to replace ping where SVG sits. That's all it's going to do. And then it's going to look in that folder for a logo optimized ping. So we have to have that, which we don't, we're going to create. All right, so you can see right here that we need a couple things here. So we need what's called Modernizer. Why don't, you, why don't you do this? You can either go to the Modernizer website or you can click on the link to open it in a new browser window and you'll see Modernizer. Now, Modernizer, if you haven't used this before, is something that people go back and forth on. Some people love, some people hate, but we are going to use it. Okay, so here's what we need to do. You should hopefully be at the download, download Modernizer and you're going to see in here, if you take a look, you're going to see SVG. Why don't you go ahead and select that? We have to turn this on because what we're doing is we're going to download this JavaScript file that we're going to use. And the JavaScript, these are all detection methods, if you will. I don't know, it's kind of a stupid way of saying it, but these are all things that you can detect and then work around. So what we can do is say, let's generate. The reason why we don't pick everything is because it makes a smaller file. There we go. Now what you can do is download this custom build. So click download. And you're going to see it's going to give you a little JavaScript file. That's right down here. I'm going to go grab that. And what you can then do is you can take that and put it in the folder with the insert SVG next to your index start, next to your HTML. And we're just going to link to that from the, the HTML page. Right? So what I, what I want you to do is don't kid yourself. Go ahead and copy that name of that file. Okay? Go back over to your HTML. Come on up. You're going to see it says Modernizer here. Modernizer belongs in the head. Okay, it's got to fire first, essentially. So what I want you to do is just put in script source equals Modernizer. And we'll just close that up. Put a closing script, and there we go. Now make sure it works. It's in the same folder and everything, and you got it right there. This is the engine. This is what's going to detect to make sure the SVG works. It's actually really smart. It it's, it's really pretty fast. And it goes in and puts on a, uh, a class, essentially, on the HTML tag and says, okay, yes, SVG or no SVG, essentially. Now what we can do is we can go in and say, okay, down at the bottom, we're going to add a little bit of scripting. And we're going to tell it, okay, modernizer, if you detect in a browser or a device, whatever it happens to be, that SVG is supported, then go for it. Just show the, show the SVG. But if SVG is not supported, I want you to replace SVG with ping. So we replace the image. So that goes right before the closing body. If you go back, so I got Modernizer here. If you go back to that coder wall, that website, you should see the big stuff right here. Here's what we want. Here's a condensed version. 
copy this stuff right here. Copy that. Okay, I'm going to copy it. You can see this. This is just th these two right here. This and this are the same thing. This one's just condensed. Go back over to your HTML. Before the closing body tag, what we're going to do is this. We're just going to put in script. Oops. Script. Really. Paste. Closing script. You guys see that? So it's saying if modernizer.svg is not supported, essentially it's saying is not supported, then I want you to go in and find this image tag. I want you to go see if it says SVG, and if it does, I want you to replace it with ping. That's it. Last step, we need to make sure that we have a file called logooptimize.ping. So what I would do is take a look in here. You're going to see that we have the logooptimize.svg. I have a logo.ping in here. We can just change the name of that if we want to. Okay. So you can go in and just change it to logo. It's just got to be the same thing. Logo optimized dot ping. And that should do it. That's it. So once again, we're going in. If I save the file, go take a look at it. Now, unfortunately, what's going to happen here is there's my page. If I refresh, it should still work. But if you're in Internet Explorer 8 and I just went over and looked at it, uh, it should work. It should pull in the ping instead of the SVG and everybody should be happy. So there we go. Working with SV SVG, there's amazing things you can do. There really is. And, and we are just, we're scratching the surface here. As a matter of fact, if you want to take a look, I've got a couple other things in here in that little text file. Snap SVG. This is really cool. This is uh, something that Adobe is involved with. And if I go to it, if you look right here, you're going to see, see this guy right here, this little alligator? That's SVG. It's vector stuff. You take a look. See the animation? That's pretty cool, huh? So you can actually do tons of different things for, uh, with SVG rather. This is all SVG. Check this out. This is just, just the beginning. There's tons of things we could do with this. You'll also see, if you look at this right here, back in that text file, this is, I think this is so cool. I'm going to paste that in. You don't have to go visit these. I'm just trying to show you some things we can do. Code Drop, this is a great website. This is an awesome website. Check this demo out. You can actually have it draw SVG and then replace with an image. There's some really amazing things you can do here. So tip of the iceberg, like I said. But with SVG, there's a lot of great things we can do.